what we have here is a Judas ear fungus. Why do they call it a Judas ear fungus? Because it looks like an ear. Uh, it's named after Judas in the Bible uh, because of the kind of trees that they grow on, uh, down down trees or other kind of trees. Uh, so I'll pick up a few more of these. This one looks like they, look, they do look remarkably like ears. <laughs> kind of funny. As you can see, I peeled a few of these uh, Judas ear fungus off the tree. Uh, like I said, again, they're called Judas ears because they look like ears. Um, they are edible. The Chinese and the Japanese both use these in their meals, uh, and they, their, uh, the Chinese translation for these is pretty much the same as the English of uh, ear. Uh, tree ear and the uh, Japanese call them the tree jellyfish which is uh, a little bit different but as you can see they do remarkably look like ears. They're, they're rubbery. Some have described the uh, texture as like a gummy bear which is exactly what that feels like. Here my son Sebastian is uh, peeling off a Judas ear off of the uh, down log. Does it look like an ear? Hold it up. Yep. What does it feel like to you? Like a gummy bear. Like a gummy bear? Is it rubbery? Yeah. Yeah, they are kind of rubbery. You ready to take a bite out of one? <laughs> I don't blame you. Me either. So here's the finished product. Um, Judas ear mushrooms that have been cooked in, or fungi that have been cooked in soy sauce. Uh, kind of stir fried them in the soy sauce. Um, this. Uh, mushrooms absorb the flavors of whatever they're cooked in uh, so the longer you cook the more flavor that they absorb um, so these naturally are going to taste a whole lot like soy sauce especially since this is my first time eating them I didn't want to uh, I wanted to kind of mask the taste if there was any unpleasantness there uh, um, so I'll go ahead and give this a bite Mm -mm. That's good eating.